hi. Hello. I'll let things get started. I hope everybody's having a great day today. Today's June 1st. Today's the first. Hi, Sharon. Today is the 1st of June. And I am going to kind of go over this iPad thing again. I feel like in my first live, I was a little frazzled. I was very excited. Um, so I want to go over. Oh, I want to go over um, everything again with you guys. And now that the day's over, maybe you guys have had a chance to take a look around at all of the iCAD prompts or things that are going on, other people's ideas and takes on the challenge. Um, if you weren't around or didn't see the first video, this is the um, Daisy Yellow Index Card a Day Creative Challenge. It's 61 index cards starting today until July 31st. And these are the uh, hashtags to either go look at them, to post your own, and I've decided that I'm going to go ahead and do this uh, with you guys. And I picked, I wanted to find a, a collection that I could do three by five little mini layouts, art lifestyle. So I picked 49th and Market, which actually is just perfect because I've been collecting their collections for so long. And then I have leftover bits from my kits that I make. Um, so let's use them, right? So let's get looking at stuff. Um, so what it is, is that it is a prompt every day. I'm going to just stick with the easy stuff. I'm gonna stick with the every day there's a different prompt and you can interpret this any way you'd like. Um, I'll show you my interpretation you can go online and you'll see all kinds of different things. I'm going to be very, I'm going to take things very lightly. I'm not going to uh, force anything. And I'm just going to try to be inspired by things around me. Um, and hopefully I can get you to join in with me. So for today, since it's the first, I've already made my number one sapling card. I've made two of them. I made one in my last video and I made one uh, prior to that to get me started. So, uh, sapling, I wanna show you, let me show you what I made for sapling. And I took that to be, and you know, I even looked up the exact definition and it's a tree that's under four feet. Um, I'm trying to look for pictures in my stash that inspire me and that will fit the theme that's in the prompts. And just to be very light on that, I just looked for any pictures that had a tree. Uh, and that was my inspiration. And I found a few pictures. I played with two of them. This was the first one that I did. Um, just so you know, the iCAD is a three by five index card. And what I've done is I've cut my paper to size and just adhered it to the top of it. And then I've marked it with what it is and what the, prompt is and then I'll go through and I'll do a little journaling about what the picture is. This is a picture of um, my little Tony hugging a tree and it's one of my favorite memories because he's just a cute little thing and I found in the 49th and market I found of course some die cut little leaves so it just really fits. Um, that was the one um, that I did before. Just a couple of things that I'm going to keep in my stash right here so that I have it all the time. Uh, one thing would be my stapler, my mini stapler. If you don't have that handy, you should always have this handy. Um, you should always have your various uh, inks to ink your papers. And with 49th and Market, a good brown is all you really need. Um, I did bring out my pink uh, for the Tranquility, which is this one. Um, 
But this is the, this card. And then while I was live a few days ago talking about the project, I had this one, this picture. And what inspired me with this one is Tony's holding a little wish, a little wish in his hand. And in this series of photos, he blows it out. And to me, it's a little sapling. So this was my little take that I did uh, with you guys the other day. And I wanted to show you my little box because I think that what, that's what I'll do live with you guys tonight is decorate my little box, which is with all of the 49th and Market products. Here's my uh, index cards. You can use whatever you have on, on hand. If you don't have proper index cards, do what I did and just cut a blank piece of paper in the 3x5 size and turn it into your index card. That's what I'm doing. Or do the paper now, and then when you have time or when you find some index cards, adhere it to the back. Be sure to go ahead and, and uh, post your your things. I'm going to do that. I haven't, I haven't photographed mine yet, so I need to do it. Um, let's see. What else? Let's talk about the box. So this is just a really cute little box I found at the dollar store. Um, and I painted it with some chalk paint I had in my stash. And then I decorated with the 49th and Market. Really cute. So let's talk about these prompts. Because we are going to get back together in two days on the 3rd. And we are going to go ahead and make the polka dots. And we're going to make the map. So if you want to join along with me, you can gather your inspiration for those two items polka dots or graphic dots and a map so for me i went ahead and i had found a couple of different things for the polka dots and i don't know which one i'm going to use i might use one i might use them all i'm not sure but this one right here is my first uh, inspiration for polka dots. This is um, a little jacket I was wearing to work one day and I took a picture of it because I really loved it. Um, so that's my first picture. So this is where we get a little more into the interpretation vibe of it. But this is my graphic because it says graphic dots here and i was going through the photos and i found this one now if you can see in the photo this is my roller skates and i'm at a roller skating rink and i took a photo of the lights on the ground and i take those as polka dots don't you maybe so we'll see i liked that one so the other one that i thought is polka dots uh, when and I kind of chuckled a little bit was uh, this cute little photo of Tony and his little freckles because to me those are cute little polka dots right so I have three I think great pictures to choose from I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use so for map map I'm having a little bit of a brain freeze there because I kind of want to use like a map of Brazil or something like that but then I also probably could go through all of my stash of 49th and Market and find some really great um, images uh, with the map probably not in this I'm not sure which collection but I am sure that there's a collection that has maps in it so you can think of that one I'll have mine ready on Saturday night and I'll make mine with you I won't make anything until we're together and the next one uh, will and then I'll skip another day and we'll get together like on the fifth and we'll do espresso and zebra so for espresso I have this really long going thing with my daughter where my name is long a lot of young people don't know how to spell it, so I always say Bianca when I order my Starbucks. 
So, and, and a lot of times I do it because of the name, but I also do it because it makes me think of her at that particular moment in time uh, and hoping that she knows I'm thinking of her. Anyways, so in my feed, I've probably got these all through everywhere. I've got them everywhere. I, I found at least three or four that are on my phone and they are Starbucks with Bianca's name on it. And I would know, normally when I order it, I would take a picture and send it to her. Uh, this one's funny because it says Bianca with an O. So I thought it was pretty cute. But this is just a random one I had to uh, in my stash. So I'm gonna pick one of those to do espresso. I know they're pretty literal, not super creative, but you know, it's gonna be fun and um, I'm using the 49th and Market products. So that will be great. And I hope you'll join along with me. And for now, I think let's just make this little box. Can we do that together? I would love to. Because I don't think all of my cards are gonna fit in here. So at least let's go ahead and let's paint my box. I used just some really cheap uh, chalk paint that I had in my stash. So let's do that. If you can't hear, I'm out in the patio again. And if you can hear the birds, it's kind of funny. They are really loud. They chatter and they're only here for a few months in the year. So, I mean, I could be doing this much faster, different way. I hope you guys, it's so beautiful out right now. I'm in Concord. I don't know where anybody else is, but in Concord, it is absolutely gorgeous out right now. It's going to get really hot this weekend supposed to get into the 80s so I'm supposed to work in the yard so if I do that I will do it early in the morning and then I will have time to play also if you're local and you didn't hear or don't know I'm having a free crop day next weekend here where I live I have a huge community room that seats probably 50 people um, so we're having a big crop and it's free. Uh, so five dollars, five dollars free to sign up just so that I can keep track of everybody. Uh, but it's here in Concord, so I would love to have you. Uh, you can look on my group site and see all about it. The community room is really big. It's um, got, you'll have a six foot table. I'll have all of my goodies for sale, lots of kits. Uh, let's see, what else? It's got a full kitchen, so if you wanna bring your own food, you can do that. Uh, we're gonna probably order some food from a local place. Uh, and we can all join in on that. But I'd love to see ya. It's a great little space and it's always good to craft together. It's always good to get out and see your friends or meet some new crafty friends or they have the same thoughts and ideas that you do. Isn't this paint pretty? Wow, I was shocked that this was in, this might have been mom's. And this is folk art home decor chalk paint. And it looks like it still even has the Hobby Lobby uh, thing on it. I really hope you guys will join me and do your own crafting and grab your pictures together and join me. Just find a collection that has like little bits and pieces, a collection that you have paper, 
and you have maybe uh, an ephemera kit for it. Um, just some basic supplies. Doesn't have to be anything too fancy. If you're into stamping, find a stamp. It's a little treat. If you don't even have that and you just grab your pens and you draw. Uh, the iCAD is about whatever you want to do, um, whatever style that is yours. Um, that's what's so fun about it. That's what is so fun about these kinds of things, especially the artsy ones. You don't have to feel overwhelmed or that you're not good enough, which we all do. I know I've felt that way a lot. But if we craft every day, we're releasing those happy, happy, happy pheromones. If you haven't noticed, it's really quiet because I kept Bruno inside today. So he's not out here barking at things. He's just sitting at the doorway waiting for me to open it for him. Poor Bruno. If you come to the crop, you'll see him because he'll have to come. He wouldn't be able to handle an entire uh, day without seeing everybody because he loves people and he's just my fun little dude. Did anybody, I don't know if anybody's looked, I'm going to spend my evening after this, I'm going to spend my evening looking at the hashtags for this iCAD and get some inspiration, see what other people are doing, things like that. Can you hear the birds here? I wish you could see them. They're funny. They're so loud. They're loud. They're big. And they honk. And they're all nesting around my house. Anybody knows the story of the conquered egrets that live in the trees? Please let me know. I'd like to know about them. Alright, that's good. So this is going to take a little time to dry. So while that happens, I'm going to show you my new project. How would you like that? It has nothing to do with this iCAD. Nothing to do with iCAD. So for those of you that are only in it for the iCAD, um, get together your pictures that will have polka dots or graphic dots and a map. And if you want to keep going, go and find pictures or items or things that inspire you that are polka dots, map, espresso, zebra or striped, wildflowers and treble clef. I have, I have treble clef already. It's going to have to be something musical for me. It will be something to do with music. Maybe a picture of a hot artist that I like. Okay, so I don't know if you've seen the brand new uh, Pampered Pooch by uh, Photoplay. But I had so much fun with this. Woohoo! Here is my new project. <laughs> this is spoiled, uh, and this is using the Photo Play um, Pampered Pooch paper line. And it's adorable, and I love it. And even though it's pink and it's girly, I uh, have Bruno on top here. So, this is going to be a new class kit that I'll do. Uh, we'll see about doing a live class. That would be fun. But I've done it in the old uh, Traveler Notebook traditional style, where we will make the outside, which is made of chipboard, covered chipboard. 
and then we will add our picture our uh, pages and you can add as many pages as you'd like so let's go through it so this is your base and if you can see um, the base and you have your elastic so that you can pull your pages out and put them in this is your cover with all these fun things on it and I made a really fun pocket that opens up here and this is a little pad of paper which we decorated okay and that goes in your pocket so what I've done is I've done it where you can document uh, your puppy, your new dog, whatever you'd like. Uh, live in the bougie life. Photos. Um, oh, I didn't talk about this during the iCAD stuff, but look at these tiny little index cards that I found. Here, look. Ooh, look at this. If these are not the cutest things in the world. This is a regular one. And this is my mini. So you're going to get a bunch of these in your kit, and I think they're perfect for journaling. Uh, but those are really cute. So there's your first page. And what I've done is I've made for you personal um, pages that I did in my graphic designing apps, I guess you'll say. I've made uh, pages that are going to be glued into your book that you can write in little stories and little tidbits about your dog. So this one says, the day we brought puppy home, such a lucky dog. So you can write a little story about it and put a picture, um, but isn't this paper just adorable? Even though it's, it's pink and it's, oh, I just love it, it's so cute. Uh, here's another one of the little index, mini index cards little card um, you'll get everything uh, you see here I've done die cuts uh, for you that are fun things this actually right here is a die cut I've done the inside and then I've also given you the outside which is right in, in one of the other pages you'll see it anyways so this is a part of the kit Uh, and here we go, more little pages to write on and little things to prompt you to write. Uh, this one says food likes, um, foods doesn't like, and then food allergies. And I picked these little tidbits and you can write all the cute little things about your pooch. Uh, this one over here says my favorite things. And so this is the middle of your book. You can take them out. You can add more pages if you want to. It's really fun. And this is just another page for you to put a picture. Um, and then this one, look, this is important info for kennel or pet sitter. Owner name, contact number, feeding time amount, allergies, temperament and handling info. I put this on a tag so that um, you could write on it and take it out and put it on your fridge, put it anywhere that somebody that would be taking care of your pup would need it. Fun, huh? Look at how cute the little stickers are for this collection. So cute. My dog isn't spoiled. I'm just well trained. So this over here is your little notes just to write some notes about the dog, about your love. Some more days. Oh my gosh, this paper line is just really cute. And these are just little tags, little picture to put. And so this is a new kit. I have to figure out, um, it'll be a week or two before it's done, but I plan to have it for the crop uh, next weekend. So if this is something that you're interested and you want it for the crop next weekend, you let me know right away because I don't know if I can get more than what I have on hand uh, by then, but we can try. Anyways, so this is this. 
um, the ICAD. This was sapling. This was today, and this is sapling. And I picked pictures of Tony with a tree and with the little wish. And these are my 49th in market. I'm going to take photos of these and post them right after we're done here so you can see them. And I'll also be posting, I'll cut up that video and just post this as well. And some pre-order information about this kit. Because this one is fun. You're going to want it. You're going to want it. So thanks for joining me. And put it on your calendar to come and join me on Saturday night. Come spend your Saturday night and craft for a little bit with me. And we'll make our cards that are for polka dots and map. And then we'll talk about the others and I'll have my inspiration to show you so that maybe it'll inspire you. Okay? Thanks all. Have a great night.